Hello, Assalam Alaikum, and very good morning. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I am starting with the lecture number five on the road traffic accident, and in this lecture, I will discuss the injuries to the head in road traffic accidents. As we know that due to impact of head with the wind screen, the injuries like contusion, lacerations, and bruises can occur. The fracture of skull not only limited to the ward, but even the base of skull may fracture due to transmission of force from ward to the base. Then injuries to the brain, which are contusion and lacerations can occur. Then to the vertebral column of the spinal cord in the cervical region, the dislocation of atlantoaxial joint may also take place. So the concussion of brain is the most common injury in traffic accidents especially to the bikers if they are not wearing the helmets. This is transient dysfunction of brain which occurs following a strike on the head and clinically it manifests, it manifests as transient loss of consciousness. And it may be compression concussion, either by the application of force against a stationary head. That is some object, moving object strikes to the stationary head or acceleration concussion due to strike of a moving head against a stationary object that the head is moving and it strikes against a stationary like the dashboard in front of the front seat occupant. Then there can be post-concussion syndrome. This is the symptoms like headache, dizziness and nervousness are seen. Then post-traumatic stress syndrome. And this is typically characterized by anxiety, hysteria, and terror. This is due to necrosis at the site of the injury. Then post-traumatic amnesia. This is loss of memory after the injury to the brain. It may be anti-grade or retrograde. And it can be organic or psychological. Retrograde, the past memory, loss of past memory. And integrate that he doesn't know the circumstances, where he is, what is his name. So, integrate and retrograde, any type of amnesia can be seen. Then organic results from pathological changes in the brain. And these changes are due to the damage to the neurons, which is due to the altered chemical, chemicals which are present in the trauma or degeneration. It interferes with the associative process. And in psychological amnesia is due to stress causing interference in the process of recall, that is forgetting. Now the coup and the contra coup injuries to the head. If the moving head strikes a stationary object, the resultant trauma will be a combination of impact injury at the site of impact and 
deceleration injury on the contents of the cranium at the opposite side of the impact. So the two injury is at the site of or point of impact and point of two is opposite to the point of impact. Two sites involving both the membranes and the brain substance. And these injury to the membrane and brain are due to pressure strains caused by concentration and rarefaction or cavitation produced because of the movement of brain matter and its meninges. That means when the head is moving, the contents are also moving and the brain inside the cranium is moving. And when there is sudden acceleration, the content, they will be sliding above each other like pressure strains. And at the point of impact, they will be concentrated, causing co-injury and opposite will be the rarefaction or the contra co injury. The injury produced immediately below the site of impact is called co injury. And injury at a point diagonally opposite to the point of impact is point of coup injury. Here in this picture, diag diagrammatic picture, you can see the point of impact. The frontal region or the forehead is striking to the stationary object. And this is the point of concentration of the brain matter. That is the coup point and the exactly opposite, there is a rare fraction and that is contrapo. So if the head strikes at forehead, the coup injury will be on the frontal lobe of the brain and contrapo will be on the occipital lobe. This is another picture showing the moving head striking to a stationary object and coup and contrapo. This is again a diagram showing the coup and contra coup. This is another picture showing the coup and contra coup. So the coup injury is at the point of impact and contra coup is opposite to the point of impact. So sometimes this is uh, head is free to move and it when the, it is hyperflexed it strikes to the front and when it is hyperextended the occipital region strikes. So a mixed picture of who at the frontal point and at occipital point can occur if the head is free to move strike to the front at the forehead and rear at the occipital region. Now, so if some moving object strikes a stationary head, head is stationary, but a moving object strikes to the head like this. A baseball a stick striking to the forehead, and that is the point of impact causing coup. And the, with the jerky movement, the contra side will be showing the contra coup. So injury to the co-passengers. At the front seat occupant, which is sitting by the side of the driver, as there is front no dashboard, no steering wheel, and they are not usually prepared for the accident, and their body is thrown forward. And High speed even body is thrown out of the wind screen. So injuries include abrasion, contusion, laceration, chest injury, fracture of the skull, and bird foot claw injuries. As there is no instrument panel in front and no stress injuries will be seen as in the driver. Then dashboard may cause fracture of the knee and if the head is striking to the dashboard and the windscreen, that will be injury causing to the head. 
like the Pooh and the Contra Pooh. This is the picture on the front seat occupant. The on the left side is the driver showing the steering column and the steering assembly in front and the panels of brake panels and accelerator panel and the forces are being transmitted from the arms and the legs to the body. Whereas the other, there is no steering column assembly in front and the person is striking his head with the windscreen, knees to the dashboard and injuries will be seen there. This is a animation showing the rear compartment passengers if they are unstrained, they are thrown out towards the front. No injuries to the back seat passengers. They are thrown forward with their head striking with the front seat or to its occupants. The injuries usually occur at head, knee, and the abdomen. The additional injury can occur to the children as they continue to move even the vehicle stops and they may be thrown in the forward compartment. They may suffer lateral impact with the side wall of the vehicle and they may be thrown out of the vehicle. This is another animation showing the child sitting at the rear seat and striking to the back of the front seat. This is another animation showing the child being thrown forward and backward. This is another animation showing the mechanism of various injuries. And the movement of the passengers from rear compartment to the front. Now the lateral impact crash that some vehicles strike from the side, the severity of injury is directly proportional to the speed of the vehicle and typical findings are seen in the lateral impact. Contusion with hematoma on the temporal region and site of the impact may be present. Now the dice injuries, what are the dice injuries? These are characteristic right angle or V-shaped cuts caused by disc or cubical segments of the broken side window glass. Dice injuries are by the side windows glass, whereas the bird claw injuries are the windscreen segments. They are on the face. And these are the dice injuries because of the broken side window glass. Fracture of spine, cervical spine may occur. Contusion, laceration will be seen. Liver, lung, spleen and kidney may be lacerated. These are due to the lateral impact injuries. Pelvis may be fractured. Thank you very much. That's all about the lecture number five. We'll move on to the lecture number six in the lecture. Thank you very much. Allah, please take care.